Hello, my name is Platone. In the previous video, we installed Python and did our first program. In this video, we will do some equations and then move on to variables. You usually use calculators to calculate stuff. We can do that by the Python shell also. Open your Python shell by double cl clicking the IDLE, or if you're using your BERT, click in the operation system IDLE. Next, let's do a equation. Every day at school, you buy a snack, uh, your lunch for two seventy five. You also buy with it Teddy Grahams for nine ninety five cents. How much money do you spend at the end of the week? First, we do 2.75 times 5. Next, we do 0 0.95 times 5. Then we add 13.75 with 4.75. Easy, right? That's how easy addition and multiplication can get. Same for division and subtraction. Let's say my mommy gave me $25 to spend. I spend five on Pokemon cards. How much money do I have for each day? So we do 20 divided by four, divided by five to get the answer of four. Notice that division and multiplication have a higher order than addition and subtraction. But we can always use brackets to control the order of operation. Let's move on to variables. A variable is a place where you can store numbers, text, and lists, and so on. For example, let's create a variable called pocket. We use an equal sign to tell Python what we want to store in the variable. So do pocket equals 100. That means that po the variable pocket stores 100. To find out what the variable stores, you can do this. Print pocket. And it will tell you the place of the pocket. We can also change the variable's value name by putting an equal sign. Pocket equals 200. Print pocket. You can also make more than one variable at a time. Jar equals pocket. Print jar. As you can see, we told Python that we want to make another variable that has the same value as pocket by an equal sign. Let's talk about variables name convention. Pocket isn't a really useful name. It doesn't tell us anything. So let's name our variable lunch money. Lunch money equals lunch money equals to 25. That makes it clear that we're talking about $25. Variable names can be made out of numbers, letters, and underscraped characters. Try giving variables appropriate names and, as short as, and keep it as short as possible. Now, let's talk about how to use variables. Remember about my lunch money? Now, since we can turn number into variables, let's try this. 
lunch money equals to 25. Poke, pokey, poke cards equal to 5. Days equal to 5. Then we place round brackets. And then we type in lunch money minus poke cards. Then we place round brackets again and do divided by days. And we get 4.0. We can change the value of any variables and do it again. Days equal four. Then you copy the previous line and paste it. Then you press enter. In this video, we learned about calculations and variables. Next time, we'll learn about strings. Don't forget to press the like button and the subscribe. And turn on my post notifications so you will see more videos.